Next, tourism. It's worth six billion euro to the economy and now Tourism Ireland wants to make it worth more. Today it's launching a marketing strategy to get more tourists to come here. Part of that will be to encourage international visitors to holiday outside of Dublin. Well joining us now here in studio is CEO of Tourism Ireland, Alice Manzer. Alice, thanks for coming into studio. Thank you so much for having me. Well look, first of all, how big do you want tourism to grow this year? Well, as you referenced there, it's such a key indigenous industry for us here on the island of Ireland, already worth, we estimate, six billion euros per annum in revenue. And we want to grow that with the industry and in support of the industry by 5.6% year over year on average through to 2030. So there are the numbers. How will you do that? It's all about telling uh, potential visitors overseas about the best that the island of Ireland has to offer. Um, We'll be stimulating demand for the regions and seasons with the most capacity to grow. And that, of course, then helps support over 300,000 jobs island wide, often supporting significant rural entrepreneurialism as well right around the country. Um, including in places that mightn't have a surplus of other industry. Well, you just said there that you'll tell overseas visitors about the best that we have to offer. Well, on the back of the riots in Dublin in November, protests over immigration, the burning of accommodation for people seeking protection. Is it more difficult now to sell Ireland abroad as Ireland of the welcomes? It's a really great question. And look, I think we need to never take our valuable reputation for granted. And so I appreciate all of the debate on the topic of safety and reputation. And when we survey overseas visitors, they tell us the reasons that they come here are primarily our outstanding scenery, our heritage and history, and as you say, our warm people and culture. And um, again, appreciate the debate on the topic of safety and reputation. We can't take it for granted. But but how how do you undo the reputational damage then caused by these kind of events, the events that we saw in Dublin in November? Yeah, Uh, look, the riots certainly did make international news um, and then the press cycle overseas moved on. And so I think what's critical is that we don't see these types of events happening over and over. I know when I talk to uh, tourism businesses on the ground, there's a real welcome for some of the steps being taken, such as increased guard presence on the ground. But if you look in aggregate at our reputation overseas, um, awareness of the island of Ireland as a holiday destination is high relative to our size. 67% of people would consider a holiday here sometime. Um, even last year we had more people searching online for holidays in Ireland than say holidays in Scotland, holidays in Iceland and that's based on um, global search trend traffic so there's a lot of health within our reputation, we're also an award winning destination. But are you Um, concerned about the impact? I I certainly think we need to keep an eye on it and keep our reputation strong and not take for granted that reputation um, is key to helping attract all those visitors so we can play our part and everybody on the ground plays their part too. So you talk about the capacity to grow. Has the industry the capacity to grow? Because the Irish industry, the Irish Tourism Industry Confederation says that the stock of tourist accommodation was constrained by up to 20% last year by the government's reliance on hotels and other visitor accommodations to provide humanitarian housing. And on top of that, then you have rising hotel prices. Capacity is a great question to chat about. Yes, you know, we know that uh, approximately 20% of accommodation is out of use by tourism, as you said, for humanitarian reasons. Um, We've also got uh, regulation coming in in order to look at short term lets, particularly in cities and move some of those holiday listings back into long term housing. And the societal needs are well understood. But how do you grow then when you have these challenges? So how do we grow? Exactly. Capacity is a challenge, but it's also an opportunity. If you look at hotels currently in tourism, they're at 88% room occupancy in the summer months, but only 73% room occupancy across the island or fullness, if you will, from October through to May. And so that 15 percentage point gap is worth hundreds of millions to our economy. And you'll see Tourism Ireland marketing really iconic reasons to visit the island outside of the peak seasons and regions, coming to enjoy moments like Halloween, springtime and so on. And that's where the growth opportunity will lie. You mentioned the regions there because one criticism down through the years of 
tourism providers around the country is that visitors, they come in through Dublin, but they don't stay outside the Pale. So how do you fix this? You know, let's start with some consumer insights. Um, We know that these days 80% of overseas visitors will research what they're going to see and do before they decide where to go on holidays, where they'll stay and how long they'll spend there. And so we have a real opportunity in our marketing now to get in there at the point that people are researching what they'll see and do. And yes, we have bucket list attractions that people will want to go to and we're delighted to have those. If you go to Paris for the first time, you might want to go to the Eiffel Tower. If you go to Rome, you might want to see the College we have iconic attractions here too that people want to go and see and so if for example you're researching online about the Cliffs of Moher we want to not only surface to you in our materials info about the Cliffs of Moher but also maybe about all those hidden gems nearby the caves the boat trips the islands to try and win more bed nights in the localities in the regions and more spend for those small and medium sized businesses that provide incredible experiences and that thrive through overseas visitors. So it's a really key part of the plan to win more time and more spend in the regions. CEO of Tourism Ireland, Alice Manzer, thanks for joining us this morning.